Welcome to UI 101. Did you know that you can render a small portion of your scene to preview how your final rendering will look? The feature I'm talking about is Region Render. For those not familiar, you can find Region Render on the ribbon just above your real-time view. If you're not seeing it there, you can activate it by right-clicking on the ribbon and making sure it's toggled on from the drop-down list. Once Region Render is selected, you'll notice that an adjustable field appears in your real-time view. Go ahead and adjust this field so that it covers only a small portion of your scene. I highly recommend resizing this and placing this field over an area of your scene that may be particularly heavy to render. Some examples of those types of areas would include anything that was demonstrating caustics, areas where real cloth or flyaways have been applied, and any location where you may be getting hot spots or flyaways in the real-time view. This will allow you to quickly render that specific area and get a better idea of what an optimal sample count might be for a given scene. Once you have your region selected, simply follow the same process you would for any other rendering to render out your selected area. At this point, you can check your region render and if necessary, make further adjustments before you render your final image. As always, stay tuned, happy rendering, and we'll see you in the next one.